Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. So I've been doing some more sketching, coming up with ideas, and I quite like, I really like this one actually. I, I like, actually I like all four. I might do all four of them as paintings. Um, I like doing little ideas in this book to come up with uh, situations and <laughs> I've got a funny way of creating paintings at the moment. I'll have, I might do a video on it, it's more of a yeah, it'll be a fun one. It'll be interesting anyway. So I'm going to do this one. It's got like trees, 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 a path, a person, and a tree, and a shadow. <laughs> I quite like it though. It's quite simple, but I like it. So I'm going to move it over there so I can glance at it. So I just do my little sketches with uh, some marker pens and pencil crayons. I do my markers and then pencils on top. I might have to show that as well. It might be an interesting video. Get you going on your own creative journey. So let's have a look at the palette or the plate. Let's put a few colours on some uh, vermilion red, cadmium yellow, sap green, ultramarine blue, some uh, brown black, some burnt sienna and some titanium white and just got my ultramarine blue in with my white so I'll make a sky colour it's got a, a simple little sky with a cloud in it yeah I've been having fun doing designs so I like painting photos but when you're designing your own places <laughs> I don't know, it's just more, it's kind of more exciting in a way. I think painting photos is good for your own knowledge, like for realism, I suppose, to see how nature works. But when you start designing your own, then it's another, it's a whole new world. A whole new world. <laughs> Uh, right, let's add uh, a bit of blue in here, a bit of blue there, a little bit of white in it. I might do that and then uh, let it dry and then I'll put clouds on top. I think that's what I'll do. There we go. So pretty much our sky shape. Areas that are a little bit thin, I'll just put a bit more paint on. It mostly uh, covers up the, I was going to say canvas. <laughs> it's kind of the canvas, isn't it? The, the page. There we go. So I want to do some background trees and so I might do that now because I don't want them to be too strong and forward. Get some of this green and blue into my sky colour and automatically you make a faded green. That's why I always like leaving a bit of a sky mix because then you can use it and it works out perfectly for distance, so then you can put your distant trees in, like I'm going to do. Just use the uh, corner of the brush or use the brush like straight so you can do your little shapes. Something like that. There we go, and then we've got sort of we have land that goes sort of like this. And 
then we've got more trees in front. But what I want to do before that, I want to put my uh, cloud in. So hopefully it's dried enough for me to... I'm just going to grab some titanium white. I might get a tiny, the tiniest dot of red. Yeah, I got a really tiny dot of red. <laughs> Threw it in my white. My, my brush isn't perfectly clean anyway. Um, it's got a little bit of blue in, so a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, a little bit of white, and then we've got our cloud colour. So we had a cloud that sort of goes across like this. And then we had it going a bit like this. Yeah, something like that. I quite like that. I might leave that as is. Sometimes, you know, I uh, I mess around too much and I lose my immediacy. <laughs> I like that word. I don't know why I laughed. I find that word funny. Me calling my own painting, saying the immediacy of it. Oh makes me sound like a real artist. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put some more trees in. Get some of this brown black. Go a little bit darker now. Quite blue, because I like the idea of the, the trees to have a blue, a blueness to them. So we've got trees coming up here. So I'll start them about there, I think. One, da, 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 up and down. Lots of different shapes. And they get bigger. And a bit more paint, really. Thicker paint. Start growing this uh, landscape a little bit. So we've got these trees to go there, and then we've got big, much bigger trees. But we've got a hill, <laughs> and then these trees are sort of here. I'll just block this in a little bit until we start picking up some more paint. We've got trees that start there. bluey green really pick up some colour in this one. I think it would work quite good if the trees do go back actually like that. Be willing to make changes in my painting something I always think to myself don't <laughs> it's actually a writer's thing I heard is where you don't box yourself in into a writer's corner <laughs> I think the same with painting you can box yourself into a painter's corner as well and get yourself stuck <laughs> it's funny that I know you can because uh, I've done that before. So you have to work out how to pull yourself out. Get 
some green, some grass. Get a bit of yellow in our green on the ground. We've got this little angle. Yeah, funnily enough, I wouldn't have thought of doing these angles in my painting. <laughs> and that's because when I did my design, I was doing something like this. I'd have a page, say this is my page. I'll just, just give you a quick preview. And then uh, I would do shapes. So I'd have like a shape like that. And I would keep doing like loads and loads and loads in the, uh, the page. And then if if I get to a point where I think, well, I've, painted, I've done enough of those shapes. And then I would uh, start doing my painting on those shapes using some of the shapes that's there and creating something. Interesting, isn't it? And it seemed to work. I've done loads of designs of uh, paintings. Just gonna use my finger to smudge this a bit. Same with that. Quite like this light up on, on here. So I'll, I'll leave that. So we need to carry on, get this uh, filled in. Block in the dark area in, and then we can uh, start putting in a bit more of the, the light. Uh, it's the way I kind of prefer painting now. I know I whacked that light in there, <laughs> <laughs> but I like painting everything dark first, and then that gives me the chance to put lights on top because that's how I how I draw. If I'm like drawing something, I draw it all really dull and then uh, I'll start adding. Quite like doing it like that. So I'm constantly building these up, building the shapes up as well. got a bit of distance so what I'm gonna do now I think I'll dry this off and then I can start playing around a bit more so yeah I'm gonna dry this so after drying it it becomes something like this <laughs> But that gives us a good start, doesn't it? We've got a, uh, a few shapes, a bit of distance, nice sky. And now uh, I might change what I originally had planned because I quite like the way, I like the way this light is hitting here. I might put a bit more yellow on it. Have that sort of go there. And I might, instead of what I was originally going to do. I might keep these shadows here as well. And that'll give me a chance to sort of have some nice yellow light it's sort of breaking this along here. Quite dry paint as well not um, it's not very wet and that that way I can get this uh, sort of dry brush effect which I'm liking actually I like the shapes I like 
back of the ship. So, that's quite nice actually. I'm gonna put some uh, colours. Let's get some blue and white. See what I sometimes do, pick up some colour and then tap it off. And then you get a little bit of colour on your brush. Just a little bit and then you can start misting things. Say, and use your finger to, oops, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Don't want to use that finger because it's got paint on it. But you can send things even further away than like a mist mist areas up hint of blue I better uh, clean that sky up because it's got that mark on it now <laughs> whoops No one will ever know. So we've got this mist here and I'll put a little bit here as well. And then I can kind of can paint over it afterwards. Get some of that green and darkness in here. You can have like a, a blue hint in there. You can have a bit more of a blue hint in this as well. This dark side. But some of these light bits are going to stick, <laughs> some of it stays. Now, I might. What if the light broke through there as well? Maybe there's no tree there and the trees stop here and this light is really zinging through this bit. That can create another area. So I want to start doing this area as well. Um, I want a bit of a like a bluey green, bluey green. Start creating more shapes in this area. I 
I want a path as well. I want because originally I had a path going. <laughs> uh, things have changed a little bit. Oh, it would be nice to have a bit of highlight. Uh, a little bit of a bluey green. What I'll use is some of the ultramarine blue and some yellow. I use that for my highlight colour. So we've got light coming this way. Probably going to hit some of these side part of the tree there. Maybe a bit more light. Make it a bit more obvious. Light hitting some of these and a bit more blue in it. Create some shape. I'm sort of pulling the uh, strokes inward to the center of the tree. Get rid of some. We can have a bit of light in some of those areas. This one, get a bit of light on this one. Some of them I'll leave dark. Like that one, so then that helps bring them two out a little bit. light on that one there. Just sort of tap in a little bit. Create them. Quite loosely created highlights. <laughs> You can see them quite, um, see them a bit better like that. But this has become a bit of a black hole, hasn't it? So I'm going to lighten this. I still don't want too much light in it, but I don't want it to be like a black hole like it is. So I'm going to have a bit of greeny colour, greeny blues. I could do the same on the uh, shady side of the tree. Okay, that's taking it up a little bit. It's still a little bit too uh, dull, I've got to admit. So I'm going to go a bit more. Bit lighter. More. More stuff in there. Shapes. Hmm. Right now, I want to get. There we go. 
It's still dark in there, but a little bit lighter, a little bit more stuff going on. So what I might do now, originally I had a big tree here, which was casting a big shadow across. And I haven't done that. <laughs> but I still want a path, so I'm going to get a bit of brown burnt umber. Well, brown, black and burnt sienna, I should say. Uh, where's my path want to go? I still think, should it go here or? Looks like it would go, I think it would go around these trees like there. And it'd come across here. And probably go along there on that side there. Get bigger there. a bit of a mess now <laughs> so we're going to clean it up a bit bit of white bit of red bit of burnt sienna making a bit of a light and I can uh, pull some of that light across Okay, and then we can get some yellow. Yellow and greens. Break into that colour a bit. break some of this there change that a little bit just to suit the path <laughs> put some of that grass down we can tap in more grass in areas that we want it I was thinking of putting a big tree here, but I think I'll keep it. Keep the space. Quite like the space. And I'm not going to uh, flood it with uh, this yellow so there's gaps so it still looks a bit grass like keep the gaps some of that light breaking into this Might have a change of flavour of this area here, a bit more of an orangey look to it. And the, uh, the colour, a bit more red in it. And then there, a 
warmth. Okay. Throw that warmth in wherever we want, just to uh, give it a bit of a change, see? Looking at this, I'm thinking this wouldn't be as quite as big. I think it would go to about there, maybe. Like that. Shrink that a bit. Bit of grass on that path there. So then I had, I actually had someone on it. So it looks like a good place for somebody to be walking. So what I might do, I dry it off first and then uh, I can happily put someone in there walking. So I'm still looking at that um, shadow and it's just, still a little bit too dull it's just uh it's just a little bit on the to me it is anyway so i'm gonna lighten it again And a bit more. Uh. <laughs> what I think as well, I think there's another tree. And it's, it's here, and that's created a cast there. Shadow. That gives me a little bit of an interesting shape. A bit more interesting than what it was. Now, we was going to paint a person, wasn't we? Um, I wanted the person to be about, I think about there, walking, someone about so big. Got a bit of a feminine shape to it, so let's uh, go with that. I can see like a old sort of dress. <laughs> it's always an old dress. All my characters are from eighteen hundreds. <laughs> um, Get a little bit over white. Uh. 
Oh, no, that's quite interesting, actually. It's got a... Uh, some sort of a maid type Cinderella type. Maybe that's who it is. <laughs> on it. Get a really bright yellow. Just hitting the side there. And that part of the dress. Get the face. Use a little bit of white and Burnt sienna. Maybe a touch of red in it. Get the main body of the face first. Main body. <laughs> Just the main colour. And where can the arms be? Maybe she's carrying something on this arm. She's got a, uh, a little basket or a bag or something. Maybe a suitcase. She's got a suitcase. <laughs> Don't tell me why there's a woman with a suitcase. We could create a story. Maybe she's going for the job, actually. Maybe she's got a job. And this is the... Uh, the root. It's the root down the brown road. Browny orange road with the yellowy path. <laughs> no bricks. <laughs> She's gone. Sort of a light. I want I want her to have a sort of a light reddish hair. It needs to be more sienery looking hair, actually. Oh, I'll paint the uh, the face back in again. Suitcase, give it a bit of a, a light. Bit of a uh, light on the arm, on the hair there. Put a little bit more red in her hair. If I can. Mm. 
Maybe she's got a red thing there as well. And then I'll give her a shadow in the grass there. to lighten this a bit more. I can even increase the uh, the shadow by bringing this up a bit. Something like that. You can get quite a good view of it like that. I'm gonna have a little bit more light on the path. So it's a bit of a game of uh, removing lights and darks and trying to get it to the way you want it to be. Um, I like the idea of a few little light, lighter bits there. You can come out with that small brush and uh, highlight wherever you like. Other than maybe a little birdie. I quite like this actually. It's got a bit of style to it. It's not like me to paint something with style. <laughs> uh, let's put a little birdie in. Where would the birds be? Maybe the ear. You there. I, think I just want to uh, add just that line that goes like that. Yeah. There we go, we've got some sort of character. She's on her way for a job, or she's left a job. <laughs> Somehow I ended up paying a suitcase in. But anyway, <laughs> I enjoyed myself. I hope this gives you an idea of what you could do with some acrylic paints and an idea and uh, enjoy yourself. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.